Hi, I'm Leif Clayson, creator of the Omnia 9. And now I'm going to uh, show you how the multiband section, uh, the, the, the compressor, the main thing where you create your signature sound, works in the Omnia 9. Starting on the home screen, we have here selected, selected the processing meters. So uh, we go back home when we look at primary program FM processing. And um, we might start by loading a preset. And it is a prototype unit, so there's not, not many presets in this one, but there'll be a lot more in, in yours. Uh, and let's load, for example, uh, Omni 9 pushed hard. Why not? Uh, we'll step back out to FM processing. And uh, the meters here, uh, uh, looking at the meters, these meters, which were previously on the, uh, on the side, is the stereo enhancer. It's uh, four bands, uh, actually, uh, it's, uh, well, it's fifth, five bands. The bottom band doesn't get any expansion because that's bass, uh, but the top four bands do. Uh, and it expands only when necessary. So if the material is already wide, like the current input, then you don't get much expansion. But you can adjust the target separately for each band. Um, here's the input meters. Uh, here's the input ATC, which is a dual or tri-stage, depending on how you set it up. And here's the multiband. Uh, the multiband section, which is actually four, five, six, or seven bands, depending on how you configure it. Um, uh, normal, if, if this had been one of the digital uh, processing chains, there would have been look-ahead limiters in between, but in the FM, if in, but we don't use that in the FM chain. Instead, we just have the left and right output um, before preemphasis is applied, and then finally here's the uh, output after the uh, uh, psychoacoustically distortion masking composite embedder, which we'll go into in another video. Going back to FM processing, if we look at uh, the input ADC, here's uh, uh, controls you've, uh, you're probably familiar with, such as gate threshold, freeze threshold, uh, adjustable ratio, and take a look at the meters while I adjust the ratio. As you adjust uh, the, me the meter, uh, the uh, controls, the meters respond immediately. See how the scale is, uh, is adjusting there? So this way you, uh, you can see how it's moving the unity point, 0 dB. So input ADC you'd usually want at infinite to 1 so it can do the best possible gain writing. Here's the attack and release rate, but let's go right into multiband. Uh, in the multiband section, uh, for noise reduction we have a, uh, uh, we have a multiband downward expander. Uh, if we increase the range of this and set the threshold artificially high, now you see the, uh, the red curtains start to come down on this band. That's how it gets rid, gets rid of the noise, except you'd want it to put just above the noise floor instead of right, uh, right above the music. Looking at um, the, um, some of the other multiband settings, here's the attack and release for each and every band. And as always, uh, you can adjust it right here by just dragging and notice how it got the little tick mark showing that we made a change and the text turned yellow. So if we go back up here, uh, uh, the tick mark goes away because we're back at the reference and now it's, it, it's again, the text is again white. Uh, these bands, uh, the, the band 7 controls are grayed out because uh, we've set it to 6 bands, so there is no band 7. Uh, it always tells you uh, when something is disabled. Then finally here's the clipper controls. Um, well, there's several, several more pages, but here's the clipper controls, final clip drive. I know, you, um, I know my friends in New York will like that one. And um, here's the dual versus single sideband uh, stereo coder. But let's look at that in the next video. I'm Leif Clayson, creator of Omnia 9, and thank, thanks a lot for watching.